I'm a man of substance. Because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am excellent. Because I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I confess. I'm a joint heir with Christ. The world is mine. I declare that all things are mine. Priska from Nigeria. Dear Pastor, if a person wishes to get married to someone that's not committed to the things of God as a Christian, would it be right to go ahead when you know he is really your husband? Especially when you see it in visions and dreams? Now, no matter what visions or dreams you have, if they contradict the word of God, they are not from God. You gotta understand there are rules for prophecy. There are rules for revelations. There are rules for all of such things. How you can know whether a revelation or a prophecy or um, vision or a dream is from God. If it contradicts God's word, it is not from God because God doesn't contradict himself. That is very, very important. Now, I want us to examine what you said in the light of God's word. You got this fellow who's not a committed Christian or not committed to the things of God as a Christian. And yet you get these dreams or revelations that he should be your husband. That definitely contradicts God's word. Let me read something to you. First, I'll, I'll read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, where Paul counsels a lady who's become a widow. through the death of a husband. First Corinthians chapter 7 I'm reading from verse 39. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will. She is at liberty to be married to whom she will. It is up to her to choose whom she wants to marry. Why? Because she was under her husband, she was no longer under her parents, and now the husband's dead, meaning that she could make decisions by herself. She's under no guide. Now, the only thing God is saying is, it must be in the Lord. Whatever the choice she's going to make, it must be in the Lord. She cannot marry just anybody, she can only marry someone in the Lord. Can you see how important that is? Okay. Now, I would like us to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. And I want you to observe the instructions given to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? And what concord had Christ with Belial? Or what part had he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I want to look at verse 14. He says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? You cannot get married to someone in whom you cannot see the light of God. Remember, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. See, you're the light of the world. If you're the light of the world, the light must shine. If the light of that person is not shining for Christ, then his Christianity is questionable because you're supposed to be the light of the world. That light must shine. If it's not shining, it means he or she is not living a Christian life. Why would you want to get married to someone, even if he's a Christian, but is living the life of a non-Christian? Because remember, um, Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. And those good works are not just good works like building bridges for people and uh, building bus stops and so on and so forth. That's not what he's talking about. The good works that he's talking about are the works of God, the works of righteousness, the works of the Spirit of God. That's what he's talking about. So you cannot get married to someone who is not a clear 
committed, light-shining Christian. You can't. Because God's word will be violated. And so if you're having such dreams, it's about time you rebuke those dreams. Because God will not give you the dreams to marry someone who is not a clear Christian. Always remember that. He told us something. He said in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. See, if someone loves this world, acts according to this world, lives according to the cause of this world, then the love of God is not in him. How could you marry someone in whom you cannot see the love of God? So, those dreams or visions at the moment are violating the word of God. So until such a time as there is a complete change, you cannot accept it.